So, you know, firstly, I would like to thank uh, all of you for coming here, and uh, special thanks to you know the brothers uh, from uh, the Masjid Al Noor who are here, and um, you know the Tampa Muslim Disaster uh, Management, and all the Muslim communities that have come together for the last four days. You know, what they did is in the last four days they have been serving over 3,000 meals to several communities around Tampa Bay. And when Mansur Bhai introduced uh, about what as MATA and TTA and all the other organizations that we came together and we have been doing all this food drive and everything else. So they said, okay, why don't we also join and also come and do it. And for the last four days, most of you have you know, had some delicious food and it's not something that we, we want it to happen again, but this is something that reminds us that during crisis, we are all together. During crisis, I don't think there is anything that is going to separate us. And during crisis is something that we all come together. These are all something that, you know, we, we always think about guardian angels, right? We all think about, you know, that one person that is going to come and help. But these are the things, these are the moments that makes us strong. I was a student once, living in a one bedroom apartment. So I know what your struggle is. I know the things that you have lost and I know what is going on in your lives. And mentally, how much stressful it is, I can only imagine. And unfortunately, we've never faced anything like that. But here we are to support you. We are, we are, we are here as a community, not just as Telugus, but as, as a bigger community, as Indians as a citizens, as a global citizens too. And we are helping not only just our people, but we are helping people from here within the US and we are extending our help to most of them. But just to be here and to be part of this, you know, uh, amazing journey. I mean, I, I want to say amazing journey because tomorrow I know there will be Bill Gates that is going to come out of you. There is tomorrow that is going to be so many successful people that are going to come out of you. And I know one of them is going to write a book about what happened in Tampa. And that day, I'll tell you, please don't forget to mention us in your books. That is what is going to happen. And that is how strong you have to be. And that is how you have to treat every page of experience as an experience that is going to go into your books tomorrow. And that is what you're going to teach your children, that you're going to tell them, you are there, you fell, you caught up, and you did not do it alone, you did it with the community, and that is what you need to pass on. It is like a candle, you know, when you have a candle, can you ever uh, write a candle that is already lit? Can you ever light a candle that is already lit? You can only light a candle that is not lit. So today, with this light that you're going to get, I want you to pass it forward, and anytime you see somebody who is struggling, make sure you are there to help. Assalamu alaikum brothers, Namaste and good evening to everybody. 
I am thankful to Manikam and Sai Kiran here. I think most of you people know them. They called me, they said, Uncle, we have a problem. And they mentioned the name of Mr. Mansoor. So I came on that day, that was on 16th night. And when they showed me the homes, I was really, I was really crying on that day. You don't know how much I felt bad on that day. That we are staying in a five-star hotel because I have to leave my home. I was in Atlanta. I have to live in Atlanta five-star hotel, intercontinental hotel. But when I receive a call from Shanawa Saab, he is from Masjid Noor, and Mr. Firasar, saying that we have a big problem here, Zubar Bhai, we need here somebody to help. So same night we came back here. We stay in hotel because my home is still in A zone. Only day before yesterday we moved there. So when I see, I took some videos, I share with our friends, our vice president of, I am from Ahat, Hyderabad Association of Tampa. So I share some information with Mansur Bhai and share information with Shanawaz Bhai. And they said, we'll stop everywhere, we'll concentrate here. Every day we were giving 600 meals in different locations, but we changed our priority, we came here. And very good cooperation from you people, unbelievable. You are unlike my grandchildren, but whenever I ask somebody coming here and helping us, and they are cleaning the tables, taking care of food, distributing, calling everybody, talking the door. So that is the unity we need. Assalamu alaikum, namaste. Hello. I am Shanawas and I am basically from Kerala. I am representing the masjid in Wesley Chapel. It's called Masjid and No. And when this hurricane happened, we previously also we helped two years ago when the bigger hurricane happened in Fort Myers and uh, uh, Fort Charlotte. And the message to you is, don't think this as a loss. This is a big gain for you. In in couple of years, you will start making money and you will be making more money than us. So if you look at your experience, what you learned now is very, very big. Never forget this lesson because this lesson you learned is priceless. But what happens for a period of time, wealth and all those things, right? Individuals may or may not change. Don't try to change. Remember these memories and take it and you try to help somebody else who is interested us. Also, you know, all the intolerance and all those things happening. So let us be the hope for that. Send a message, there'll be, uh, we'll treat everyone as equal. Because we being a Muslim community, we came here and I am completely from a different place and I joined them. We also participated with a church. We distributed food in downtown St. Pete, where we really don't know who is getting. Like, you know, our group all went there. They were standing at the signal and the intersection and the gas station and they were offering food. Believe it or not, people with very rich car, like 100,000, 200,000 car, they are coming and they are getting food. Because the reason is they did not have electricity and water for four or five days. So even in your case, if you look at it, you are in the heart of the city. And if this still can happen, this is what I'm telling the, to our community as well. Nobody is safe. It can happen to anyone. And only thing, right, the hope of what we carry is if we help someone else, when we are in trouble, somebody else will come and help us. And thank you all for the support, and you guys have been in a very excellent group. It's been a long time I've been here in Tampa since 1981. And uh, some of the some of you might not have been even born when I came to student uh, and to, to this country as a student. So God bless you all, you know, for the struggle that you went through, and uh, you know we wish you the best for future. And uh, I thank you so much. I work under the management of. Mr. Shah Nawaz uh, in uh, Wesley Chapel, uh, Noor Masjid Delhi. And he's an inspiration. So thank you. Thank you again. Our Hillsborough County Commissioner, uh, Patricia Kemp, she has been on the ground. She's been coming and helping us wherever we go. We went to 
mosque, we went to low-income neighborhoods, we went to apartment complexes, uh, churches, we partnered with NAACP and we have been handing out hot meals for the last uh, a week or so. All this, this person here, he's taking the video, but he is truly inspirational. You know, we have been active on the field, but the brain behind all of this is Brother Shah Namas here. He, he, gets the, he gets the funding, he inspires the donors. You see, I mean, they're anonymous, they don't want to be named here, but they're standing, some of them are standing here. They've been funding these wheels. Uh, we are the people on the ground. And he's, he's the coordinator behind the scene. He's the maestro for this orchestration. So um, thank, thank you all the donors and thank you all the organizations uh, who came out, right? Tony and, and the rest of the team here and the Mazis who came out to support. But what I want to convey was uh, I reached out to uh, Patricia Camp through her social media coordinator, Nick Biscardi, uh, after I saw the videos of a couple of apartments here. And lo and behold, they came. They spent three hours yesterday with us right here at this place. Um, they, she promised a couple of things. And as I was driving here, I got a call from her. So the good thing is she's been able to arrange two shelters, not too far from here, two shelters for whoever needs uh, immediate support, uh, a place to live. They're not going to be too far from the campus. She said she doesn't know the address yet, but she knows it's going to be close to the campus. So that flyer is being worked out right now as we speak. And once it's out, I'm going to share with the, the contact numbers that I received yesterday through help with Sagar and, and Sam and the rest of the team here. So please. Uh, uh, disseminate.